Join us as we try out Malaga's top rated spots today. From ice cream to wine in a barrel to delicious tapas bars, we cover it all. Let's go find out if the Google reviews do in fact reflect how good a restaurant is. Let's go. I love Spain. <laughs> We are now at Mercado Central de Atrazanas. And we're probably going to get a juice for breakfast since the only vegetable we've eaten in the past three days is a tomato. Well, many tomatoes. Yeah. Probably like 20 tomatoes each. Oh, pineapple passion fruit. I went for sweet and Rose went for healthy. Cheers! Mmm, you want to try? Yeah, yours is very healthy. It's so sweet. I think I can't resist passion fruit. Okay, that's already a queue. We're gonna grab lunch at Casa Lola. The queue's not too bad at one o'clock. Probably like four groups in front of us, but at dinner time it's absolutely crazy. Don't just stand in the queue. There'll be a guy wearing black and he has a notepad, so make sure you give them your name. Otherwise, they're just gonna skip over you and go to the next person. Hola, um, dos personas. Tu nombre? Uh, Lauren. Lauren. Yes. Para dos. Tienes que esperar un ratito, vale? Lauren, por ti. Yes, gracias. We're sitting at the bar in Casa Lola and we are going to be ordering just a few tapas to share. It's like super bustling inside and you can see the tables, but we wanted it to be a bit quicker, so we just chose the counter, which is totally fine for the two of us. Rose and I really enjoy sitting at the bar, although it makes us order a lot more than we need to. We ordered the Iberian coho noodle, although we think this is a normal one, and then we ordered one with ham, pedro peppers, the prawns and octopus. I'm gonna try the octopus one first. The octopus is sliced really thinly and there's like a aioli underneath. It's kind of refreshing actually, not too heavy. This is the grilled prawn one with a red pepper mayonnaise. The prawns that you see are really juicy. And this is the cow noodle with a quail egg. It's like one of the specialties. We ordered two croquettes, this oxtail one and also a cuttlefish one. This one has egg yolk, padron peppers and pork and jamon. It's good. That's like a mouthful. It's really good. We have one with cheese, mushrooms and embargo ham and then another prawn one. Look at that. I think the food here is good. Despite all the mixed reviews about being a tourist trap and the service being bad, I think it's just the nature that this place is so busy that sometimes you get missed if you're not aggressive enough in terms of asking for service. I actually think that it's worth waiting in queue for this place. Like, because I think the quality of the ingredients are pretty good. And we prefer this place over Pez Lola, to be honest. <laughs> but yeah, it's time to eat and enjoy our food. We'll see you at our next location. It is siesta time. We're gonna be grabbing a drink at a wine bar. They serve everything in the barrels and they come to you and they give you your wine in like a shot glass and they write on the table how much wine you've gotten so far. It's really cute and look, it just feels so authentic. Everyone's just standing around and that's how it looks like. And they have the prices of the wine on the barrel. You can just tell them what kind of wine you want and they'll give it to you. Something to note though is that because they're in barrels, all your wine's room temperature. So if you get a white wine, it is just at room temperature, which might not be what you like. So we got the Seco, and it's a dry white. And we'll probably try a few more, just for fun. Second round, I got a vermouth, and Rose got a Moscatel, which is a very sweet wine. I really needed something to cool me down, so this is perfect. Next up, coffee at Delacote. Two 
two cappuccinos. Two cappuccinos mm. by Karen. We've secured our coffee and it's from this Delacote place. And it looks like a mother-son combination, maybe? They got their beans from Colombia. Mm. And this place also offers alternative milk, which actually not many places do. I'm gonna get some ice cream at Casa Mira. Can I get two flavors? Can I get pistachio and mango? Okay, do you want a cup? Ah, uh, yes, cup. Small, please. medium, or large? A uh, small. I got mango and pistachio. And it looks really good. It's pretty good ice cream, I would say. The pistachio is super nutty, and the mango is really fruity. Perfect combination. We are outside Mesa Mariano. It's actually five minutes before opening time, which is eight o'clock, and there's already quite a long queue. So hopefully we'll get the first seating, fingers crossed. Otherwise, we'll have to wait quite a while, but we are committed because the food looks pretty good. We are committed and we're positive. To ring, please, please, fingers crossed, fingers crossed, we'll get in. I'm so excited for the food. The bar is behind me, but we managed to get a table for once. After drinking too much wine, I always need a sparkling water for dinner because as long as I get a stomachache. <laughs> Unfortunately for us, they didn't have the grilled artichokes, but we ordered the fried artichokes instead. I didn't realize it was deep fried, I thought it was like pan fried. And then we ordered goat and also pill pill. And we wanted to order more, but he said it was too much and we had to cancel something. So. It's actually not very oily, it's really light. The artichoke flavor is quite subtle though. It's like bubbling so much. Can't wait to try it! Oh, it smells so good though. I think this one was way better than I saw in a barrico. Like the prawns are just juicier, but I think it's just because they use different pots. Okay, you must dip your bread in your olive oil. Oh yeah. All the other members are... Yes, it's spicy, so it's like chili oil rather than just garlic oil. There's definitely a kick. It's better, it's okay. huge. No wonder the guys said we shouldn't order anymore. Like around the bone, yeah. Maybe it's like more cartilage. Why Malaga? It does have that sort of musty, you know, like mutton-y taste. Interesting dish. Everything is good, but if you don't like lamb, then I suggest you don't order this because it's quite lamb. I think so when we ordered everything, everything comes with too much oil. That's probably what we ordered rather than the restaurant itself. So we should you have like a good mix of like different foods. Both of us didn't really like it. We'll just give you our honest opinion. First of all, they didn't have the grilled artichokes, which was what we really wanted. So then I ordered the fried one. But that's my misunderstanding of the menu. And then we ordered what everybody said was good on the menu, which is like the goat. But we didn't like the goat head. Rose found a hair in her goat piece. Well, but I mean, they offered to exchange it for a new plate, but I think we we're just really put off by it and we just couldn't eat that anymore. Okay, only the gambas al pil pil was good. And then, second, we ordered the tuna with onion, and that one was okay. We thought it was pretty good. So, I don't think it's a bad place. But we just had a bad experience, that's all. I would say if maybe if we had ordered different things, maybe if there were grilled artichokes, we would have liked it. But as of now, we are sad. It was not one of our better meals, that's all. Since we have height, we deserve some ice cream, so we're going to Levi Angelo Gelato. They won lots of awards for being like one of the best gelato places. Can I have two flavors? Cone, hazelnut, and fresa. Thank you. Got some ice cream. Mmm. Oh wow. Try it. Like the strawberry tastes so fresh. It actually just tastes like a strawberry. Mmm. Is that got stracciatella pistachio? Have you tried the hazelnut? This is like the best treat. We'll never have gelato, 
I need to have sorbet because just having um, a single like creamy flavor is too much for me. to wait in line and manage all in Spanish so I kind of just like pick random stuff to order. I'm waiting for my sister to arrive so hopefully she'll come soon. This place has pretty good reviews so I am excited to try out their food. Okay we got lobster roll and I got some wine and their wine's like three to four euros a glass. Oh, this is the foie gras with mushroom. So that's the prawn and the octopus carpaccio. I'm just gonna use my hands. Oh, good, good. Hot bacalao. Oh, super soft inside. It actually tastes kind of truffly as well. Quick dinner for tonight. We're gonna head up to the rooftop bar now and probably get a drink. It is nice. Perks of having a high flying sister. <laughs> I just can't. Hola, dos. Para comer? Solo? Yes, yes. Only three? No, oh, eat, eat, eat. We're at Chiringuito al Cacholote and we're sitting by the beach and it's very, very serene. It's around 6.30 now and the place isn't very packed but all the seats right next to the beach are pretty much full or reserved. So if you wanted to sit here by the beach, then you have to tell them in advance. Go like book a table when, before you go to the beach in the morning or afternoon. But we managed to get lucky because we asked them to move as soon as another couple left. And we ordered grilled sardines and also a grilled fish, which they grill right at the back here. But the best part about this place is just the vibes. Like it looks so good. How amazing is this view? And you can hear the waves splashing and it just very relaxing and this is definitely the beachy part of Malaga which we haven't really visited because Rose and I aren't big beachy fans but I think it's worth coming here just to enjoy the view so cheers! It smells really good let's give this sardine a try it looks like they've added a lot of flaky salt we squeezed some lemon on top as well I guess I'll just use my hands because why not Mm. I think you can eat the bones of sardines, right? They're pretty good. And you can see there's like flaky salt on it as well. But I think the salt is a little bit too thick, like the chunks. I like I think we just really like the fact that you can see them cooking your fish for you. Okay, we got the sea bass which has just arrived and there's like 25 euros. And it came with a pig of potatoes and it's really good. And the sardines were about nine. We're really tempted to get some calamari, but we'll see. I mean, I wouldn't say they have the freshest fish around, but it tastes pretty decent. It's good. Mm. 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 The fish flesh is really soft, and also, like, when they grill it outside, the skin is really crispy, so it's really good. I like it a lot. I think it was pretty good. I like the vibes there. It's very chilled out. But I only think it was worth it if you got to sit near the beach. We just ordered the grilled fish because we thought that was the coolest part of the restaurant. Um, a lot of people order things like paella. For some reason, we saw a lot of people order hamburgers. I don't know why. But I think sardines is the thing that most people order there. And... Our bill came up to be about 44 euros for the two of us, but we did have a sea bass and the sardine. And anything to say, sister? Um, yeah, I thought it was quite good. Um, fresh fish. <laughs> and good vibes. Good time. Not All right. <laughs> we are waiting outside Maison Iberico now, and it is 8.25, and there are a few people in front of us, but based on the Google reviews, it said that it'll be rammed. 
but lucky for us, it's not too bad. If you come in here without a reservation, basically you have to take a seat at the counter. But the good thing is that you can make reservations, I'm not sure how. But we arrived at around 8.20 and it's not really full just yet. There's definitely locals here and the vibes are really good. Hopefully the food is just as good. All the fresh seafoods are right in front of us. They give you saucisson to start. The one I like about tapas bars is I feel like you do have to order a drink here. So I got sparkling water because I've had enough wine for today. But you don't have to order that much food, which I think is always so good. And Rose got a red wine, but she doesn't want to be in a video anymore. We ordered the class and they cook it with garlic and it looks really good. Let's try it. Oh my gosh, there's so much garlic in it. It's amazing. Nice and fresh. Mm. I approve. This is how I eat my shells and my sister is a bit OCD. So messy. <laughs> we got the peel peel prawns which is a classic tapas. A very interesting texture. Quite soft right? It's not as bouncy bouncy. <laughs> We're debating on whether or not to order more food. We say we always over order, but yeah, here we said we said let's not have dinner tonight. Or like let's have one or two. <laughs> but we only ordered three. But I feel like we're on our way to ordering more. Buy one. It's like we want two more things. Thank you. And our prawns, which we just had to get because okay. everybody else got it. Yeah, and we're doomed, as always. <laughs> I want it very cool. This perfectly peeled prawn. Mm. Mm. We got the malacan prawns, and actually, the texture is the same as the peer peer one. It's quite soft. It's not like the chewy, chewy, bouncy one. Mm. Is it octopus in? Mm. The octopus is good. With the lemon, it's extra, extra good. Approved. This place is approved. And let's hope Rosella doesn't order hummus because we will be dead. <laughs> uh -huh. I like this place. Well, we'll see after we finish this, right? I really like this place. The people are really friendly and it's like very chilled out. And yeah, I would recommend. <laughs> she got hamon. <laughs> okay, Rosella gave in to temptation. Wait, are you so gonna take your picture? It is really fatty. It's so fatty. Try it. Did your dream come true? She's been oh, dreaming so it. Oh, so you can't eat it? No, I can't eat it. Mm. <laughs> Your face flinched a no. little. No, yeah. It's good. Yeah. It's like melt in your mouth, man. Oh, yeah. It oh, really yeah. melts yeah. in your mouth. Wait, it really disappears. Yeah. That's a big problem. <laughs> <laughs> it's not disappearing. <laughs> it's good. Order it. <laughs> Azala is getting schooled because she used a fork to eat her hamon and the guy was like no you must not eat it changes the flavor so I'm gonna have one with my fingers to see if that makes a difference and honestly I said this before but the fat is really melting your mouth it disappears and so it's just dangerous but apparently you must use your fingers and not your fork in Spain that's how they do it out here although we and eat it with bread although we, they told us not to eat our clams with our hands they didn't tell us they just told you because you look like you're struggling with your hands like, <laughs> they looked at Lauren and they were like she didn't look like she used her hands so you better give her a fork I'll take that as a compliment though <laughs> let me do it <laughs> I'm dead. I'm so full. <laughs> <laughs> we have
have just got home from dinner and honestly that place was pretty fun. I love Spain. <laughs> and they treated us really well. We were just sitting at the bar and they even give us free lemon chilo at the end and also profiteroles. I don't know if they do that for everyone or if we're just special. Just kidding. <laughs> But he did say Malaysia is a very beautiful country. <laughs> That's it for today's vlog. I hope you guys enjoyed it and I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye!